Wow, wow, wow. Listen, this is going to be my only video that I'm making. Basically destroying this game for what it really is, man. Like, I was looking forward to Call of Duty World War II. I believed in such having games with all the advertisements that they gave this game. More advertisement than I have ever seen for any Call of Duty, by the way. You know, and I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time, people. A long, long time. And I can tell you, like, I'm telling you, I want to like this game, but this game is total bullshit right now. Like, this game sucks. And it's not like I'm bad at the game. You know, I, I hold like a very, you know, I'm a 1.6, almost 1.7. If it goes up and down because of nonsense in the game. But I feel like I'm playing the beta 2.0. It's plain and simple. You know, it, it's like they made core for bullets not to kill. Because it takes like almost a whole clip to kill one person. And by the time you're trying to reload to shoot the next person, you die. Um... Hardcore is fucking terrible, excuse my language, but it's terrible to the point where it's like, I've never, I've raged so much, I'm going to give you a, a perspective, I've raged so much in this game so much already that it's ridiculous. I've raged more than I've raged in Infinite Warfare the whole year, and I know Infinite Warfare wasn't the best taken to, to, the, to, the, to the community Call of Duty, but Infinite Warfare destroys this game in smoothness, graphics, like the graphics of Sledgehammer games and World War 2 is complete garbage. And for those who probably say, well, it's an old school game, have y'all seen Battlefield? Have y'all seen the graphics that Battlefield holds? Like, come on now, that's no excuse. This shit looks like it's PlayStation 2 graphics, PlayStation 3 graphics, like it's freaking terrible. Sledgehammer games, you got our money, you guys win at the end of the day. We still can't play games like they, they're saying that it's triple XP, but if you really don't see it when the matches don't finish and you don't and you don't get the match bonuses. So I don't all that I don't buy into none of that crap. Like Sledgehammer Games, you guys did it, man. You guys got our money. You know, there's no refunds, especially for digital downloads like myself, the one that I purchased, which is terrible. Which, you know, I'm officially done. Like, I'm not purchasing Call of Duty. Well, I'm not pre-ordering it for sure next year. Like, I'll just wait to launch. Like, screw the beta. Screw all that crap. Like, I'm not even looking forward to getting none of that. So, like, every Call of Duty is like a, it's like a new iPhone every year. You know, it's just amped up and they feed you the same bull crap And nothing ever really changes but a few little specs here and there. With that said, whoever believes... That this game took three years to make is smoking the greatest drug of them all, which I don't even know what that is, but you're smoking that. It's impossible for this game to take three years to make. I don't believe it takes any game three years to make, let alone a first person shooter. You know, you can argue other role playing games and stuff like that, but a first person shooter? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's just copy and paste. There's proof in the pudding with PC files. With, for example, Black Ops 3. There was files from Black Ops 2 still found in that thing. They just copy and paste a whole bunch of bullcrap. And this is not a hate video, you know, because I like to play Call of Duty. But when games are BS, they're BS. And it's like, I expected so much more. Then you have these YouTubers, these famous YouTubers who tend to go on these tr special trips and... You know, all for them, not hating on them at all. But what I do hate is when they come praising the game so high. You know, like, I like narratives and, you know, opinions. Yeah, but I like good, good and bads. Don't come at me with oh, nothing but good. And it's not, and, and then this happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you see on Twitter is all of these people complaining, 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 complaining. And I was like, but dude, you were the same one that was saying such and such. I pra praising the Lord with this game. You know, like, it's ridiculous. The snipers, the shotguns. The, have y'all seen the range on these shotguns? My God. I'm getting shot from 20 feet away with a shotgun. You know? The aim assist is too high on the snipers. The aim assist is too high on the shotguns. It's like, buff the, if that's the case... Buff weapons, man. Buff the submachine guns because they're getting too many hit markers. 
the assault rifles or whatever like they're, they're pretty there they're, they're good light machine guns they deserve probably a little bit of a buff but some machine guns definitely need buff i'm getting hit markers in hardcore at an alarming rate mind you i played infinite warfare and black ops 3 hardcore mode and hardcore mode was freaking awesome yeah you have little things in there that go bad but you have a lot more good and in this game, the friendly fire is um, it's like, it's like I'm getting the skill based matchmaking is terrible. It's like I'm playing with Timmy No Thumbs every time on my team. I get murdered by my team so much that if it infuriates me and I, it just ruins the KD. If that's the case, why not give me a kill when I kill my own team? If you're going to give me a death for a death given by my own teammate. Call of Duty, Sledgehammer Games, and Activision. You guys are geniuses. You guys got us. You guys got us for our money. These servers are shit servers. Worst launch in Call of Duty history. I remember getting Modern Warfare 2 and playing it early. I remember playing it when it actually launched. I remember playing Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. All on launch. Midnight. Playing it. Coming home from the store, buying it, and playing it. Nothing was wrong with servers. Nothing. Nothing at all. So what's the issues, man? What's the what's the reason behind the nonsense right here, right now? There's, there's none. There's no excuses. You're trying to tell me last gen is better than next gen? I believe it. I never suffered enough. I never suffered this bad with, la with last gen, with the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Everything was simple. Bullets registered a whole lot more. Yeah, at the time it was less graphics, but at the time it still was good graphics. I can play Modern Warfare 2 right now and I'm enjoying graphics. That's the problem with you developers today. You guys are trying to develop so much around with graphics to make things look real. Like a little crack in a wall, a little crack in a crate. That y'all forget the main aspect of the game. You know, main thing, the, the thing that like people won't even care for these details that you guys are going into if the bullets were hitting right. If bullets were hitting people correctly, and killing them, you know, people would appreciate the game a whole lot more than you spending time making grass look more real. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, for me, it still would go down to the greatest Call of Duty of, of all time. Um, but even last gen, even Ghost on last gen, hit detection was badass. Hit detection was on point. Game was dope, it was on point. Black Ops 2, regardless. But next gen has been terrible. You know, I didn't play Advanced Warfare. But I played Black Ops 3. I played Infinite Warfare. And now I'm playing this. And this is the worst one of the three that I've just mentioned in total when it comes to hit detection. It's freaking ridiculous. Your bullets sound like little pellet guns. Like a four-year-old made the game or something like that. The sound engine. The sound engineer. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Step up your game. Call of Duty World War II right now has been a complete shit show. And the fact that it's two weeks in and it's still like this. Is it really going to improve? You know, like, is it going to improve? What about Christmas when all these Christmas... When all these new players come in. The Christmas noobs. Sorry for calling you noobs, but what's going to happen then? Are the servers going to crash again because you guys weren't prepared? You guys got to come better prepared. It's that simple. This is easily the most selling game regardless of any how bad one game can do to the next one in the same company. It doesn't matter if Infinite Warfare didn't sell as much as World War II. Infinite, Infinite Warfare is still with the highest selling game though, right? Y'all should prepare for all the madness that comes with each Call of Duty release title. Servers are shit hit detection is shit graphics of ps4 and xbox one and the other ones xbox one s and whatever is shit such hammer games you are complete shit you failed with advantage warfare in my opinion and it ain't getting any better with this one right now i'll give it it's better than advanced warfare for right now but with these shit servers and us never probably get to play the game properly then yeah it's over support brooklyn light guys peace out